uh, continuing our tour around East County uh, for our East County Sports Previews. And i um, joined by Mario Jacobs and by Joe Malone of the Elkhorn Valley Braves. So, uh, you take over this year after uh, Atlantis was behind center last year. Um, how did that work out for you? How, how were you? Were you just nominated? Were you? Uh, was there anybody competing for the position with you? Yeah, this year me and Mario were competing against each other. And just last year, just kind of put in a little bit more work. And then I just got the starting spot. And how did you feel about that, Mario? Were you good with that? Or you wanted to play more defense because you, you got the linebacker position? Uh, he worked harder. I, I had to push him. I feel like he probably he deserved the spot more, and I knew coming into it that he was going to be the one to start. But I know if I gave him competition, it would be a blossom. Thus you did? Yes. So it was a healthy rivalry, yeah. per se. And then, uh, how, I mean, what did you think? Uh, you know what? Big, is there a big difference in your style or your style from uh, last year with Atlantis? Uh, well, this year we're kind of changing up the offense a little bit more. Yeah, go a little bit more run heavy and stuff. But there's not really going to be a big difference. He was a good quarterback. I mean, we're good quarterbacks. So, I mean, in the end, if we're winning games, it's a good year. And uh, how do you feel on the other side of the ball, though? Uh, is that something you were interested in? more interested in than the offensive side of the ball? Oh, most definitely. Um, I love playing for James Atoli. He's one of the best coordinators I've ever seen in my life. And, um, I'm very excited. I got a great defensive line in front of me. Uh, some places. And uh, how do you guys feel? Uh, I'll start with you, Joe. This year, um, coming into the Valley, as you guys have been in for many, 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 many years. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, along with the, uh, we'll start with West Hills at the top, uh, Monta Vista, Santana. What, do you, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I feel like all the other teams are very respectable. They're very good teams. We have some great games this year. And I just feel like we're going to come out as a strong, young team. And we just put hard work in every game, hopefully come out on top. Um, so what are your thoughts uh, in the Valley as far as El Cajon? El Cajon can play with any team out here. And you say that? Uh, I say that because of how much work we put into off season, and I've seen who we're playing against and how we play. I'm going to play with any team. And in comparison to last year, uh, Joe, what do you think that you guys have done differently uh, than what we did last year uh, at El Cajon? Well, last year was just a rough year. We didn't have all the spots, but this year uh, we're looking good. We got spots everywhere, offense, defense. And Everyone's come in ever since last season. We're just putting in work this whole off season. Everyone in and out every day. So putting in all that hard work, it's going to pay off. And uh, also, since we're talking offense right now, what, what about your offensive line? How do you feel about them? And uh, if there's some names you can throw out there, too, that are going to be protecting you throughout the season? Yeah, I feel very confident on our line this year. Um, Kevon White, Isaac, Wanda Walcott, uh, Salvador Morales. And a couple other guys, but everyone's strong, everyone's physical, and I trust them as much as I trust anyone else on this field. And how about your running core? Uh, I feel like we have a great running core with Mario in the backfield. We have Demarius Hyde, and they're just great athletic players. And our receivers, we got Clarence Johnson, Brandon Blackburn, and we're just coming out here. We got a very solid team. And would you say that? Uh... Clarence will be one of your go-to guys. Obviously, Clarence was uh, had a pretty good year considering um, it wasn't uh, the best year, but he, he had a pretty good year personally. Yeah. We can't put the whole team on one guy, so we're all going to have to come together. So he's going to be a big part of this offense. And uh, how about it in your, your, from your eyes in the backfield? Um, I have a lot of confidence in this dude right here. I've been playing with him for many years. Uh, even as a sophomore, he was showing some moves out here on the varsity, so uh, I'm excited to see him play. I'm excited to finish off my year as Oklahoma Braves. In a couple of years when I come back, I can't wait to see a ring on one of these when these kids can use. So um, I'm very excited. Um, I've done what I can here. I'm going to continue to do what I can for my team in this school. But I've always said that they're going to be the legacy because that is a core group that stayed together since they were freshmen. So I have very high hopes for them. Now, did you and Joe, did you guys play – Pop Warner together too, or well, uh, 
when my brother was here and Mario played with him. So I've pretty much been in the program ever since my brothers have been playing. I used to be a water boy when Coach Paris was here. And uh, so I have a really good connection with all the seniors this year, all the seniors that have graduated. And all the seniors this year, they put in all their work these three years. This year it's going to pay off for them as well as it's going to pay off for all of us. Hey, Mario, uh, quite a different uh, shift to uh, coaching styles uh, from Coach Paris, of course. And But I'm sure you learned uh, a lot of core values and and great things and made great achievements with Coach Paris as well. Because I remember when he did exit, uh, you guys put together a good win just from the emotion of his departure. Claremont game this year. Yep. Yeah, I was here. It was, uh, it was a, most definitely a game to watch. Uh, you could tell that you guys were playing with emotion and you got the job done. But uh, you definitely learned some things from him as well. Absolutely. I'm sure that built some of your character as well. I mean, I thought he was a great coach myself. Uh, no disrespect to Coach Osborne. He's a phenomenal coach. He's really come out here. He's putting in a lot of work with all of us. But uh, being a player doesn't make you a coach. But with Coach, it's just different. He really knows how to put it down to us and actually talk to us. And just with like all the other coaches that have come and gone, they've, they've known how to do the same thing. So, And, you know, talking with uh, your current coach, Osborne, he definitely holds you guys accountable for everything you do, not only on the field, but off the field. Mm -hmm. um, he even had a, uh, an acronym. I don't recall what it was. Uh, off Brave. the top. Brave. Yeah. Brave. I, I, okay, let's do it. Come on. Do, I, do, do you know it, Dave? Do you know no, I don't. That's why I'm Mario. asking him. Uh, we are brothers first. Brothers. Respectable. We're accountable. Virtuous. And we're enduring. And it's things like that, I mean, that he brings to the field and to, I mean, keeps you guys even uh, accountable at home for the, for the schoolwork, uh, really as your character mm -hmm. and building as young men. So, I mean, you guys, that's a whole different kind of coach. That's more of a mentor, wouldn't you yeah. say? Yeah, I mean, he, he holds his account for everything. He's brought up our average for uh, to play. We have to have a 2.3. So that's going to help us all tremendously in the classroom, make sure we all graduate. And if we get disrespectful at home, our parents can come tell them, like, hey, it's being rude. Don't make us run. Come out here. Anything we do in school, I mean, we have to come out here conditioned, full tires, everything. Anything else, fellas? Uh, it's something you circle on the calendar as far as a game that you're looking for, non-league, uh, hey. league game? Yeah. Go for Santana. 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 Come on, Saltons. What's up? And why is that? We, we got to back that up with why. There's There's got to be a good reason behind that. Um... It's always an exciting game to play. Yeah, we're going to be at Santana this year. It's just going to make it even better. Yeah, Go out there, get that freshman, win. I started my freshman year at their home field. I'm going to finish at their home field, so I'm going to take <laughs> And then is, as far as any attractive non-league game that uh, you guys are looking forward to? Yeah. Coronado. Coronado. <laughs>